Hey guys, I am back with another obsessive book haul. I kind of went a little crazy. So I actually ordered some of these online and got some of these in stores. So the first book I got was The Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. And this is book one in a series. Um, I'll read the back for you guys. Um, only a true best friend can protect you from your immortal enemies. Lisa, is it Lisa or Eliza? Dragomir is a Moroi, Moroi princess, a mortal vampire with a rare gift for harnessing the Earth's magic. She must be protected at all times from Stragoi, Stragoi, the fiercest vampires, the ones who never die. The powerful blend of human and vampire blood that flows through Rose Hathaway, Lysa's best friend, makes her, Jesus, what are these words? A damp fire, a dampener, I don't know. Rose is dedicated to a dangerous life of protecting Liza from the Stragoi, who are hell-bent on making Liza one of them. After two years of freedom, Rose and Liza are caught and dragged back to St. Vladimir's Academy, a school for vampire royalty and their guardians-to-be, hidden in the deep forest of Montana. But inside the Iron Gates, life is even more fraught, fraught with danger, and the Stragoi are always close by. Rose and Liza must navigate their dangerous world, confront the temptations of forbidden love, and never once let their guard down, lest the evil and dead make Liza one of them forever. So, that's what it looks like if you can read it and you can pronounce the words. The red's not really picking up, but you can see the white. So, sorry I botched that. I probably should have done research on how to pronounce those before, but in my head, I could pronounce them. Out loud, I cannot. So, this is book one. Then I got Frostbite, which is book two by Rochelle Mead. Then I got book three, Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Then I got book four, Blood Promise by Michelle Mead. Then I got book five, Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. And then I got the last and final book, The Last Sacrifice by Michelle Mead. But I'm not going to read any of the synopsis, synopsi of these um, because I don't want to spoil it for myself or for anyone who hasn't read them. So yes, not only did I go a little crazy with the Vampire Academy series, I continued to go a little obsessive crazy and bought the spin-off series Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. This is the first book. I don't want to read it because I don't want to spoil myself in case it will, which I don't know if it will or not. But I really love these. I really especially love the spine. They're really pretty. And then I went ahead and bought the second one in the series, The Golden Lily. Again, very pretty spine and also very obsessive of me. And, of course, I had to get the last one, The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. This is the third book in the series. I don't know how many more are coming out after this. I kind of just went on an impulsive rampage. I don't really want to talk about it. And then the last series that I had to buy and complete in one night is Matched by Ali Condi, second book Crossed by Ali Condi, and third book Reached by Ali Condi. Um, I've heard mixed things about this. I've heard more good than bad, but, you know, you never know. So I wanted to look at these. Oh, that's not bad. It kind of is a cool texture. So I will read the inside flap of Matched for everybody. In this society, officials decide. Who you love, where you work, when you die. Cassia has always trusted their choices. It's hardly any price to pay for a long life, the perfect job, the ideal mate. So when her best friend appears on the matching screen, Kaisa knows Cassia, Cassia knows with complete certainty that he is the one until she sees another face flash for an instant before the screen fades to black. Now Cassie is faced with impossible choices between Xander and Kai, between the only life she's known and a path no one else has ever dared follow, between perfection and passion. Matched is a story for right now and storytelling with a resonance of a classic. So I'm excited to read this series because, like I said, I've heard mixed things on it. So I don't know. I'm hoping that I'll enjoy it. But the reason why I went all impulsive with Vampire Academy is because I started reading it on my nook and I really enjoyed it and then I went a little crazy because I've heard so many good things about it and I just wanted 
a book that were going to get me back into the mood of reading a good book. So I've heard amazing things about that series, so I wanted to give that a go. And I actually um, got the Bloodlines series for a fairly decent price. Um, I bought all of these online. Um, I got them, I got two at Barnes & Noble and the Indigo Spell, if you're into this series and you haven't picked this up yet, I believe it's only $10 at Amazon. So that really wasn't that bad of a deal. Um, so that's part of the reason why I, I decided to pick all of those up. But yes, if you have read either The Bloodlines, Vampire Academy, or matched any of those series, trilogies, let me know because I'm excited to read both of Vampire Academy and Bloodlines, and I'm also pretty excited to read Matched um, Trilogy. So let me know if you've read them down below, what your thoughts and ideas were without spoiling anything for me, if you enjoyed them, who your favorite characters were, and let me know what you guys are reading. I'm always interested for new ideas. See you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.